Wow. Uh, <laughs> well, so number nine is yeah. Dick Dick the Bruiser. Yes. Uh, played for Green Bay. He was trained oh. by Vern Gagne. Um, let's see here. I guess some of the bigger wins he had was him and Jerry Graham versus Antonio Rocca and Edward Carpentier. Uh, it led to a riot at Madison Square Garden where Dick the Bruiser was banned from ever coming to again. I was in a, uh, the biggest riot of all time for wrestlers. This was in Life Magazine years ago. And uh, 50 policemen were hurt in this riot. And the Athletic Commission of uh, New York fined me $3,000, and I was banned. I haven't been back to New York since. That was 20 years ago. I like that a lot. Well, I do know that he was... Uh... Uh, known as the world's most dangerous wrestler and mm-hmm. once bragged about, I've got so many stitches in my head it looks like a baseball. But the one thing when I was doing my research, I was not aware of this. I knew David Letterman was from Indiana, yep. and I knew he was a Bruiser fan, and I'm not trying to steal any thunder if you was going to say this, Jeremy, but I did not know this until earlier. Uh, David Letterman's TV show, the name of the band, the world's most ba- dangerous band, was paying homage to Dick the Bruiser uh, when he named that band um, the world's most dangerous band on the late night with David Letterman talk show. Yep. Wrestling, perhaps? Wrestling, the wrestling? Exactly. I love wrestling. Bobby the Brain Heenan and Gorilla Monsoon you know, with an in-depth analysis. You know, Bobby the Brain Heenan is from Indianapolis, Indiana, uh, my home city. Yeah. And uh, Bobby was involved in, in wrestling in Indianapolis. He was uh, in, the, in the era of Dick the Bruiser, who in the Midwest, you couldn't get a better known wrestler than Dick the Bruiser. True. You knew him, I guess, from St. Louis. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and and uh, we would go to the matches periodically. They'd always have a big uh, Thanksgiving card. <laughs> <laughs> That's the <laughs> kind the, of thing you want exactly. to top off sure. a family day. And Bobby the Brain, even then, I thought it was uh, a real touch of kind of genius. I mean, he was from Indianapolis. Uh, Dick the Bruiser, I think, was from Indianapolis, but always was introduced as from Reno, Nevada, the world's most dangerous wrestler. And I thought... Geez, I wish I could be known as the world's most dangerous anything. Uh, and by the way, how do you prove that, you know? So, uh, I tell that there's a good reason to make the top ten right there, let alone all the, t- the toughness that the guy, uh, you know, possessed. So, yeah, Dick uh, the Bruiser was number nine, is what I uh, well, should have said. So. Yeah, Dick the Bruiser was the only bruiser in the Indianapolis Territory. He bought the Indianapolis Territory and aligned with Vern Gagne's AWA. But it was he was so synonymous with the name Bruiser that when Bruiser Brody worked up there, he worked under the name King Kong Brody, just to not create any confusion. There you go. Wow. That's and he a... and he might have also given Bobby Heenan the name the Weasel. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess that Indianapolis territory. I, there, a lot of people came through there. Of course, his partner was a crusher, and mm-hmm. uh, people heard some of the stories as years went on uh, when when Dick uh, the Bruiser and the Crusher worked with the Road Warriors and they slammed them and it's like the place just was like what you know yeah so uh, they never apparently went off their feet at that point in their career but they did that night and it was like whoa you know so uh, yeah so Dick the Bruiser man you got a chauffeur that's a genuine dinosaur and he can knuckle your head before you count to Ugly club and a head full of how Like great big lions and grizzly bears. He's the toughest man that is alive. Wearing clothes from a wildcat's hide. He's the king of the jungle jive. Look at that. 